Virginia? I should have never been there. So. You know what song they're famous for? Huh? You know what song they're famous for? I have no idea. <laughs> what is it? It's Take Me Home Country Roads. Oh, I sure you do know that song. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they only play it if they win. Oh, uh, okay. So. Go take me home. I, I do know that song. Speaking of West Virginia, though, what's the scout tell you about these guys? What do you, what do you see on film? Well, we really haven't dipped down to them yet, you know, but I feel like they got a lot of shooter, you know, we just got to force them inside through, you know. What do you yeah, guys we haven't. This week, uh, with no midweek game, what have you been working on this week? Well, we just been, we have, we didn't practice yesterday, you know, but Monday and Tuesday, you know, we just went through some small stuff, you know, like we just was actually getting better, uh, working on, on our defense, you know, and actually like transition to, you know, Are so you that was, oh, sorry. yeah, that was the one we, we just work on, you know. How are you feeling physically at this point? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm super excited, you know. Yeah, my my body just is getting there, you know. For sure, it's way stronger than it was. How, how big was it having some downtime this week, like the, the bye, to heal up a little bit more? That that was actually super nice, you know, like to have more time to rest your body, you know, to just be one hundred percent, you know. Yeah. Last night, looked like West Virginia got their big post guy back. He'd had a broken wrist or something. Mm -hmm. He went off for twenty-five and ten. Will you be matched up on him? Will that will that be your assignment? Well, I guess yeah, yeah. That's what we usually do, you know. Whoever is the big guy, that's who we got, you know. Yeah. But today we're gonna focus a lot on them, you know. Today and tomorrow, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's been long week, you know. We haven't. We just talk about them a little bit on Tuesday, you know. Like I said, you know. But today, though, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are areas in your game for this that you feel like you've evolved? You've taken big steps forward in this year in your third season with the program. Mm, for sure, I would say, I would say my defense a little bit, you know, like because we've been working a lot about switches, you know, like whenever the big comes out screen, you know, they say you gotta see through, you know, and if you know the guard cannot come back, we just gotta call V back, you know, like that means switch, you know. So I just like the coach has been challenging us a lot, you know, to just stay down, move our feet, and play defense. Yeah. This team, this year's team, is a lot of the same personnel as last year's team, which is obviously better. What What's the difference? What is, what's been the change? I will say since after our year of trip, you know, because after we spent like 10 days together there, I feel like the team really like see, you know, like nobody can do it by himself, you know. And I feel like we've just been together, you know, like just work as a team. We don't have any selfish guy in our team, you know, like everybody playing for each other, you know. I feel, I think so that's one of the big, big, big things for our success this year. Do you hope at some point to play you and Ali or Atiki t together on the court? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do you want to have two bigs? Would you like to have that lineup available? Well, for sure, but it's going to, mm, that's not actually in our control, you know, but that's going to be on coach's decision, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm just excited to play, you know, like just excited to get back. And, and play it again, you know. What's it been like playing with Ali? No, it's actually super cool, you know, like especially the way he passes, you know. Yeah, I've been, I've been looking at him, like sometimes he see he passes, he say, how did that boy even get there, you know? It doesn't make any sense, you know. <laughs> but when he tries to do it, it's, no, it's not that easy, you know, so. Are you picking up any tricks or tricks? Uh, I'm working on that, you know, whenever he's passing, I've been just go talk to him and say, how did he do that, you know, so he just. A lot of time he told you, you know, you just got to look with defender, you know, the help, the help side, you know, to see where they are, you know, so I actually never knew that, you know, so that How was cool. Noah Waterman improved so much over the course of one year. Oh, man, Noah has just been different guy. Like, of course, we all see him last year compared to this year, you know, he's just like more physical, you know, like everything is just, he just play hard, you know, and he won it more than he won it last year, you know. And I think so. It's been helping us big time for sure. One of yeah. the questions. One of the the common things when people talk about the Big Twelve is the physicality. As someone in the post, your experiences so far, just the physicality of this league. How would you kind of assess that that aspect of this league? For sure, like one one through five, they're all super physical. You know, like you just you can just feel it. You know, 
whenever you get a catch, you know, like just trying to push them down, it's not even easy, you know. Like they're all super physical, but uh, it's fun though, you know, because I think so. I love physical game, you know, like for sure, like people don't want to flap in anymore or take charge, you know, like we just go to battle, you know, so I actually do love that a lot. It's, yeah. like it's been a couple of years now with NIL that's been mm-hmm. uh, around. How do you feel like it's impacted the program and the team as you look back on it? Well, I think so. It's good because play, players making money, you know. But I think so. It is important if you if you focus on it. I think so. You're gonna make a lot of bad decision, you know. Uh, I think so. You just gotta, you know, like forget about it and just focus on ourselves, you know, because money can ruin people, you know. So, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for Cool, thank you. Thanks for